Good day viewers, my name is Mr. Kevanu Kirenius. Welcome to our fifth lesson for biology grade 10 and 11. Today's lesson will focus on variation. On the graphic, you can see three potted plants of the same species. They were planted on the same day. What visible differences can you see between these three potted plants? I guess your answer is that they have different heights or different sizes or maybe different colored leaves. Well, although all three plants are of the same species, there are still some differences between them and that's what variation is all about. Learning objectives are, define variation as differences between individuals of the same species, state that phenotypic variation is caused by both genetic and environmental factors, Describe continuous variation as influenced by the environment and the genes as illustrated by the height in humans. And state that this continuous variation is mostly caused by genes alone. Example A, B, AB and O blood groups. Let's get into it. After the example that I've given, what do you think variation is all about in biology? Variation refers to the differences, form and structure, which exist between individuals of the same species. The graphic shows the differences between individuals belonging to the same genus and the same species, Homo sapiens, which means human beings. Although these human beings belong to the same species, you can clearly see there are differences between them. Can you identify a few visible differences? Yes, skin color, hair color, eye and nose shape, and many more. Now that you know what variation is, it will be easier for you to understand the next concept, namely phenotypic variation. Phenotypic variation is the variability in phenotypes that exist in a population. For example, People come in all shapes and sizes. Height, weight, and body shape are phenotypes that vary. The hair type, eye color, and the ability to roll your tongue or not are variable phenotypes. Look at all the rabbits shown in this graphic. They have different appearances in terms of coat color, ear shape, and height. Phenotypic variation thus refers to the variation that can see and observe between organisms in a population. Did you know that there are two types of variation? The two types of variation are continuous variation and discontinuous variation. Continuous variation is a smooth gradation between individuals. This type of variation has no distinct categories. There are many categories in which a certain feature can fall or be placed. Examples of continuous variation in humans are human height, intelligence, hair color, nose shape, fingerprints, and skin color. The graphic shows human height with many categories, thus representing continuous variation. There are two extremes, the shortest and the tallest. The other people then fit in somewhere within these two extremes. You are either the tallest or the, the shortest, or else you fit within these two extremes. Continuous variation is caused by both genes and the environment. For example, a person may inherit the alleles or genes for intelligence, but that person must still study, read, attend classes, and work consistently to reach his or her full potential. If such a person's environment does not enable the person to study, read, attend classes and work consistently on his potential, it can happen that this person may not become an intelligent person. A histogram is the best graph used to re represent continuous variation. Take note that the histogram that appears on the screen does not have spaces between the bars. The bars are attached, showing a smooth gradation between the individual heights. This continuous variation is a variation where there is no gradual change between the two extremes. There are no in-betweens. You either have a characteristic or you don't. This continuous variation is caused by genes only. A good example of this continuous variation is human blood groups. 
there are four human blood groups, namely A, B, AB, and O. This means a person has either blood groups A, B, AB, or O. Remember, earlier I have mentioned that discontinuous variation is caused by genes only. This means your blood group is determined by the genes you have inherited from your parents. Even if you change the environment, your blood group will remain the same. Another example of discontinuous variation is your ability to roll your tongue or not. You are either a tongue roller or not. A bar graph is the best graph to represent discontinuous variation as it has separate bars showing specific categories. Now that we've come to the end of today's lesson, as usual, let us have a look into what we've learned about today's lesson, which is variation. Variation refers to the differences that exist between individuals of the same species. Phenotypic variation refers to the visible differences between individuals of the same species. There are two types of variation, namely continuous and discontinuous variation. Continuous variation is caused by both genes and the environment. Discontinuous variation is caused by genes only. Viewers, before I sign off, here are a few questions for you to reflect on and answer to test your understanding of what was discussed today. 1. Define the term variation. 2. Differentiate between continuous variation and discontinuous variation. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something new and you enjoyed today's lesson. Until we meet again, see you.